All right, this is more practice on the E equals N delta H, or in some way of figuring out reaction energies. All that's different with this one is they're doing less and less of the work for us. They're making us set up the reaction and do more stuff, so should be okay. Let's see. Slaked lime, calcium hydroxide, is produced when lime reacts with liquid water. So we have a reaction, they say, where calcium oxide, that's this, reacts with water, and that reaction produces calcium hydroxide. Also, they say, 65.2 kilojoules of heat is released for each mole of this. Now, is this balanced? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's the balance is okay as it is. So, in addition to all this, we get 65.2 kilojoules of heat or th thermal energy for every mole of CaOH. Notice, if this were like two moles of calcium hydroxide, that would mean we'd need twice as much energy. But because it's just one mole we get off easy, it really is 65.2 kilojoules of heat that's produced. So, if we only had this part of the reaction, it would just be what we call a chemical equation. Once you add in the heat, the thermal energy, we call it a thermochemical equation. Heat's just like another chemical. It's something this reaction makes. So, there's our equation. And now they say if we have 523.3 kilograms of lime, meaning calcium oxide, if we have 523.3 kilograms of lime, how much energy are we going to get out? Sorry, I wrote kj there. That's incorrect. It's kg, kilograms. Well, if we had moles of this, we could say for one mole of calcium oxide, we get 65.2 kilojoules. That would be something. But right now we have a mass, so once again, we get to do number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass. Now, for mass, I'm not going to write 523.3. Do you see why not? Molar masses are in grams. This mass needs to be in grams also. So if you multiply that by a thousand, you get 523,300 grams of calcium oxide. And its molar mass is uh, 40.08 plus 16 is 5608 grams per mole. So, 523,300 divided by 5608 is 9,331.31, that's probably enough, moles of CaO. And they say our energy release is 65.2 kilojoules per one mole. That means if you're doing a delta H, it's pretty easy. It's 65.2 divided by 1. So 65.2 kilojoules per mole of CaO. I'm trying to get you used to doing that division every single time, so I'm going to show, I'm going to point it out even if this number is a 1 just to remind you that you've got to divide by the number of moles. I don't want you to get burned when this number is a 2 or a 3 or something. So there's our delta H. Energy equals N delta H equals... So our number of moles was that 9331 thing. 0.31 times 65.2. And kind of big, 608,401. 0.412, and this is an energy, so it's in kilojoules. A lot of energy, but this is like a pickup truck full of lime, so it's not surprising we get a large amount of energy from it. Uh, this number has four significant digits. This only has three, and we did use it, so I think this will limit us to three significant digits in our answer, which would mean we could go 6.08 8 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 kilojoules.
And because they said enthalpy change and didn't specify whether it was absorbed or released, we should probably put a sign on this. Is this endo or exothermic? It's exothermic because it releases heat, which means this should be positive or negative. It should be negative. So you can say minus 608 times 10 to the 5 kilojoules, or you can say 6.08 times 10 to the 5 kilojoules released, if you wish. And uh, I sh I'll just mention, if you wanted, you could write this as 608 megajoules, and that would still have the right number of significant digits. And be an appropriate unit. Anytime you have more than a thousand kilojoules, it's reasonable to divide by a thousand and turn your answer into megajoules. So any of the three of these would be fine. And of course, for completeness, you could say 608 megajoules released. All of those are perfectly reasonable answers.